Child trafficking is one of the worst forms of violence against children, affecting an alarming number of children globally. Despite all the work that has been undertaken over the last two decades, trafficking in children continues to be a high-profit, low-risk crime based upon the principle of supply and demand. Children are trafficked for various purposes, including child forced labor, child sexual exploitation, child illegal adoption, child enrollment in criminal or armored groups, child athletes in sports. Children are treated like commodities which are bought, sold, traded, and used over and over again. According to the UNODC, child trafficking has tripled in the past 15 years, and the share of boys has increased five times. The effect of the COVID-19 makes the situation even more grim, as it is increasing children's vulnerabilities and demand for trafficking. To accelerate progress towards achieving the Agenda 2030 and its SDG target 16.2, it is essential to tackle drivers as well as demand side of child trafficking, to invest in enabling inclusive and just environments that keep children safe from all forms of violence, exploitation and trafficking, leaving no one behind. And finally, to involve children as part of solution in ending and preventing child trafficking. This year, on the occasion of the World Day Against Trafficking, and under the overall team of the global campaign of the UN Interagency Coordination Group Against Trafficking in Person, I joined forces with the Director General of the Organization of Migration, Mr. Antonio Vittorini, to appeal for accelerated action to end child trafficking.